Stanley Bobo Trent claims he was unable to work after his cousin, Martin Trent Trent, ran him over in his SUV on the 4th of July, Stanley suing Martin for lost wages. Trent admits he rolled over his cousin, but argues it's Stanley's fault for passing out drunk right in front of his truck. Don't move. They call me Bobo. Bobo's underneath your truck. They were saying Bobo is underneath That's my your truck. Yes, ma'am. They were calling you Bobo. Yes, ma'am. Do you know what Bobo means in Spanish? Yeah, dummy. Stupid. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Stupid. I had that ever you since know I what? was. If you yeah. were sleeping in yeah. front of a truck, God wakes you up. God wakes me up. Okay. And Next thing I know, he was backing up off my ribs. So, I so he, he, he got over, he got on your ribs or near your ribs? On my ribs. He was on he your was ribs. On my ribs. Exactly. And you're not ribs, disputing this. Ribs. You're not disputing Excuse this. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. Yes, Excuse let me hear his thank story, you. please. Next thank thing I know, I just all of a sudden just blanked out from the impact of him laying on my ribs. Next thing I know, I woke up, there's the Amlams and the police there. Okay, well, I have some pictures here. Pete, would you get me that? Tell me what that's a picture of. This is a picture of me when I was sitting down before I laid down. I put him there. I set him there in that chair. He came up to me and said, I am drunk. I am going to be sick. And I pulled the chair up and literally set him down in the chair and told him to sleep it off. OK. So you were sleeping it off in the chair? No. I sat in that chair for like three minutes. Three minutes? And then yes. where'd you go? My cousin told me to go lay down. Here's another picture. Exhibit okay, two. OK. So right. let me see. What's that picture of? Right, this is where she gave me the blanket to lay down. As you see, you and don't see no Martin in there. All you see is at one point in the picture, somewhere my truck moved. That's not the exact. <clears throat> okay. Well, let me just say. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. So this is a picture. This is That's your truck. Me. That's me. First of all, this is you lying in the blanket. Yes, ma'am. Truck. Yeah. And that screen number two is me. You drew that yeah. diagram yourself, huh? Yes, ma'am. That's <laughs> where it was. Real Looks good like cook, a, I it's, think. Very, it's very rudimentary. Yeah. Thank very you. Basic. But as I a can very basic. A very basic diagram. Thank you. <laughs> but as you can tell, that's where I was before I noticed I was getting ready. You know, I was just tired, exhausted from doing all yeah, that cooking. Yeah. So I just laid down right here. And five, six, and seven, that's where my grills were. You had three grills going? Yes, ma'am. And, and you look at that picture, Trent's truck is about 25 feet from me. Oh, what is this? This is a... That, that's a reenactment. <laughs> I was... <laughs> uh, really? Lay flat, that, man. And, and actually, flat. I should have been a more, a little bit more to well, right. the right. Is, you reenacted this. Right. This is okay, according to you. This is where Bobo was actually, when you it were should have been a little bit more to the right. MRI. I got paperwork here. And yeah. I got standing there for three days. This is not. You say you ran him over. Your position is you ran him over, uh, but it was his fault. It was his fault. But for I really, fault. I really was traumatized by the whole thing. I mean, when I got out of my truck, I really thought that he was going to be dead. And I cried like a baby right there. Trauma to your um, chest area, chest injury. I had tried to tell him that we could work this out between us. But, you know, because I didn't feel like I was responsible completely. I feel partially responsible because I did run him over with my truck. But, you know, I, I don't feel like I was negligent. You knew that your cousin had been sleeping in front of your truck at some point right. before you got into your truck to drive it off, right? Right. You knew he had been sleeping in front of your truck before you got in it and drove it off, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you think that a reasonable person with knowledge that their cousin had been sleeping in front of their truck would have checked to see if he was still there? You know what? It's my call. Okay, it's my call to decide whether or not you acted reasonably under the circumstances. You know what? And he may be a bobo, but you were <laughs> negligent. He's going to get his back wages in the amount of $2,652. Thank you.